Finance YouTube, a place full of clickbait thumbnails, predictions for the market and what it's going to do, people selling products and courses that are supposed to make you rich fast, and let's not forget about the sketchiest brand deals out there. I don't watch a lot of finance YouTubers anymore, and today I'm gonna be explaining why that is the case and how watching them can actually make you more miserable than you currently are. The first problem with finance YouTubers is their predictions and suggestions. I'm talking about the predictions of where the market is headed, predictions for what stock to buy and which ones not to buy. Ultimately, a lot of these people are expressing their opinion and they make sure that they leave it clear that it's their opinion only. However, as we've seen with the FTX scandal, things can get out of hand very quickly and people just talk without doing the research. And if you don't know what the FTX scandal is, basically it was a crypto exchange that was involved in some sketchy transactions that ultimately led to a bank rush of people withdrawing their money, which ended up not being there. But that is a topic for another time. A lot of these YouTubers just recommend stuff without actually knowing or doing the research on what they're recommending. To prove this, I've decided to go back to some of old videos from some YouTubers and test their theories, whether it was a good stock pick or not. On January 20th of 2021, Stockmo recommended to buy three stocks, NIO, Lucid and CCIV. According to him, these were the best stocks to buy now with stock market crash prediction for 2021. I decided to plot the prices back then against the prices now and see how their predictions actually performed with the market. Their respective prices for these stocks were NIO at 61.95, Lucid at 22.35 and CCIV for 62.82. If we were to invest equally on these stocks, and let's say that we invest $1,000, we wouldn't have done that great. NIO at the moment of recording is 578 for a decrease of 90.6%. Lucid decreased to 3.33 for a decrease of 85%. CCIV decreased to 25.4 for a decrease of 59%, with a total portfolio decrease of 76.5. That means that with our $1,000 invested into these three stocks, we would have made a loss of $765. Not so good after all, right? Not the best stocks. Let's check another one. Andre Yik. Jik. I don't know how you say it. On 2021, he released a video with the best prediction stocks for the year. And while I remind you this video was not financial advice, He's probably the second biggest YouTuber after Graham Stephan, so his advice is really taken into account by a lot of people. In his video, he recommends Chevron, Square, Shopify, PayPal, Exxon and Coinbase. Some of these stocks didn't do that bad, but however, most of them did. Chevron increased by 67% and Exxon increased by 94%. How to say, quite a good pick there. However, the other ones didn't do that well. Square decreased by 64%, Shopify by 35%, PayPal by 79%, and Coinbase by 39%. If we would have followed his advice and invested $1,000, same way as with Stockmo, we wouldn't have made that big of a profit. We would actually in return have lost 39% of our portfolio. You may think, yeah, 39% loss, it's not that bad, it's $300. Yeah, but if you compare it to the S&P 500 for the same period of time, the S&P 500 increased by 33%. That means that if you would just let your money there on the S&P 500, one of the most trusted and well-known ETFs indexes out there, you would have made a profit of 33%, so $330. And while I'm actually only just showcasing 2k scenarios, I'm quite sure that there's out there other people that their stock picks were better and good predictions and recommended next with research and mathematics. The trend just goes on and there's like these two way too many people that are just recommending different stocks, different investments that are not beneficial for you. And while people may predict or may try to predict, no one can predict the future. So no one can tell you 
buy these stocks you will get a lot of money or buy this and you will get a lot of money nothing is certain in finance and in the world actually there is a concept in finance and mathematics as well called the uh, random walk it basically states that trying to predict the stock market is us walking drunk with the eyes closed you cannot expect that the drunk person will end up on the same spot as it started once it started working in circles. Basically, prices just perform a random walk and they cannot be predicted. Your best prediction for the future is the same spot as you are now. However, what YouTubers can stop doing besides promoting stocks that they have no knowledge of how they will perform is to stop generating panic and urgency. And what I'm talking here is some clickbaity titles that we see all over the internet. Let me put you just one example of one YouTuber that does this really well, really well. Graham Stefan is probably one of the most known personal finance YouTubers and probably one of the most sick for advice persons in this environment. He mainly got traction, started with real estate, then later on moved for personal finance and investment advice now currently does a podcast which is doing great he started teaching people how to get a house and what not to get a house he became a millionaire by real estate investing so it's someone that knows what he's talking about however he just creates a lot of videos on with urgency and clickbait just to catch your attention and get you to watch urgent the fed cancels rate cut the market plummets how is this title urgent how not cutting the interest rates will be urgent and will make the market plummet? Let's look at another. Breaking. The Fed pushes rates. Housing declines. Recession cancelled. You're telling me that the government is choosing to make a recession? Is choosing to create crisis? I mean, some people might say that that's the case, that that can happen. But not one government cannot just choose for the rest of the world and cancel or at will decide when the market is gonna perform and when it's not gonna perform. It's no urgency in there. And we can get to the details of that on another video, whether the governments are actually affecting us or not, but there's no urgency in just like the interest rates are gonna affect and cancel the recession. And they wouldn't be tweeting something or X, I don't know how you say it now, that the recession is canceled like with these clickbaity titles that he publishes all the time. A tweet and a quote like recession is cancelled. Usually a recession is actually known after it happened, when there's almost a period of economic decline and then one year after we know, oh, there was a recession here or we're coming. Yeah, models can be a little bit that they can predict a little bit, but still you cannot predict what the world and the market is going to do. The only things you know are things that happen and things that are happening right now. Of course, we know that with certain decisions, the market can change or certain decisions in history can repeat themselves, but we cannot predict the future. What this causes is panic, a state of emergency in people. And the worst thing is when someone that has 5 million subscribers tells you what to do, people seek that advice. People go to him or other people for advice because 5 million subscribers is sort of a credibility if 5 million people believe him why shouldn't I at least that's my case I sometimes go on YouTube seeking for advice but a lot of times the people seeking for the advice are illiterate in the matter at hand and that's why they go into YouTube or Google to search for anything in search of learning and recommendations on how they can increase their money. But you shouldn't be getting advice on YouTube to begin with. Anyone can upload a video. I'm uploading a video right now. You can upload a video. You should certainly not follow all the practices that you hear on YouTube and people recommend. A lot of them are just sketchy and will definitely not get you rich as fast as they promise. It's a lot of luck in the game. You should really be careful with the advice you listen to. There's a lot of people recommended sketchy practices out there. For example, what I mentioned about the YouTubers that were recommending FTX. This exchange basically stole $400 million 
from its customers and in virtual currency in crypto. And a lot of YouTubers were actually recommending to invest in FTX and that it was the best market, the best platform to invest in. And people actually follow that advice because if someone tells you to do something, pretty much you will go, especially if you're looking for that advice. And a lot of times they recommend these sort of platforms or things because of sponsorships. They have an economic incentive behind it to make money and to actually recommend the product without doing their own due diligence. So once again, next time you listen to a video and they recommend a certain sponsor, I really, really recommend, I cannot emphasize anymore, please do your due diligence, especially regarding with money, your own problem, your own financial situation. You can lose a lot of money and that's why they put that this is not financial advice. It's basically entertainment. There are a lot of YouTubers out there recommending fast and easy ways to get money, make $1,000, make $10,000. If it would be that easy, everyone would be doing it, right? World hunger wouldn't then be a problem, I think. And the main problem here is that finance YouTube and making videos online about money are really well paid on the algorithm, on YouTube, on the platform. Advertisers really want to spend money on finance videos, same as technology videos, and therefore there's a high incentive for people to just follow and try to recommend ways of making money. And there's something that you really need to understand. There's no such thing as a make money, get rich fast scheme. Everything takes time. You need the experience, you need the knowledge, you need the consistency and the willpower to actually sit down and do the work. You will fall, you will stand up, you will fall again, you will stand up again. And that's how it goes. You can go for years and years until eventually, hopefully, you make the money that you want. And while we live in a free world, you should really pay attention to who you listen to. After all, if you break your leg, you don't go to the mechanic to get your leg checked, right? You go to the doctor because there are people that studied, are accredited, they have the experience and they are the people that can actually help you and fix you with your leg. And same should go with money. Sometimes we let a really high subscriber count fool us as if this will be great financial advice. I mean, financial advice. That is why even though I just suggested not to watch personal finance YouTube, I will actually be teaching personal finance YouTube here. And that's because while well, I may not be rich, while well, I may not have all the experience that I want, I was once broke, really broke, when I moved abroad from my country. I was living month to month and probably make my money last for three weeks for the whole month and the last week of the month I was eating 50 cent ramen noodles for the whole week. That actually taught me the biggest money lessons that I've learned. After countless nights of studying and eating the ramen for 50 cents, I got my bachelor in economics with a minor in behavioral finance and later on I continued studying and got my master in finance. Now I'm also working in finance. I've been working in finance for the past few years, five years I would say, maybe more. So I do know a little bit about money, trading, finance, and I also have the experience on being broke. What makes this channel special, at least I hope, is that my knowledge is mixed with experience. And not experience as I'm unrich, so I will help you get rich. But more like I was broke, trying, struggling to make ends meet, and just of pride I didn't ask my parents for help back in the old days. And that's why I want to help you to not be in the same situation I was. I want to help you to learn about money so that you don't need to go back to that place you once were and that you can live a rich and happy life.